This is the historic Bayezid Square, just behind the Bayezid Mosque, in front of the historic Istanbul University main entrance. Actually, this university was begun in the 15th century, originally as a military school. As you can see, one of the watchtowers still stands today, just inside the main entrance. While exploring the great city of Istanbul, we ran across a very interesting story behind this stone. This actually, the Sadaka Tasha, this is a donation stone, a donation box that was used during the 16th and 17th centuries. It's actually, the story that goes along with it is very important. It has a great message. This was used as a donation box. Very wealthy people would come by in the evenings. They would donate or they would contribute money. They would lift the lid, put the money inside. Then later on, people who were in need or very poor would come by. They would take just enough money to meet their needs for that time, to be, and then they would go on. They didn't know each other. It was very interesting. Those who gave the money didn't know the people they were helping, and the people who were helped didn't know those who gave. But all in all, everyone was helping each other, one person, one gift at a time, through this historic stone currently located at the Yaya Fendi Mosque here in Istanbul. Behind me stand the remains of the historic city walls of Istanbul. During Istanbul's early development, the city walls were extended four different times in a westward direction. Actually, during the Byzantine Empire, it was later on that Mehmet the Conqueror, Sultan Mehmet the Conqueror, conquered the city and destroyed much of the city walls by way of cannon. Actually, after that time, the need for such a fortification began to diminish. With the rising of technologies for warfare, it no longer became necessary to use rock and stone to make this kind of fortress. The old and most historic section of Istanbul was surrounded by walls that reached a distance of nearly 20 kilometers. The majority of these walls remain and are still visible today. The Golden Horn is one of Istanbul's most historic and famous waterways, and we're traveling on it now en route to Miniaturk, the open-air museum. Yeah. 